Okay, what's up gamers? Um, Pikmin Plays here, and today we're going to be checking out some of the Rocket League mutators. Now, if you don't want to know what a mutator is, essentially, you can change the rule set in ways like ball size and what the max score is, the physics of the ball, like see it can do light, heavy, curveball, that kind of stuff. And what's surprising is that you can get a lot of really cool game combos that will... Um, a bunch of cool stuff and effects and today we're going to be playing a bunch of these mutators and so the thing about this is that there are a bunch of pre-prepared mutator settings and so I'm going to be checking these out individually one at a time playing like two minute ish games of each um, I'm just gonna set time unlimited um, so yeah let's start with Moonball now Moonball you can see that the ball size is large, boost amount is recharged fast, and gravity is low. Um, I tried all of these game modes a little bit yesterday, and I'm really surprised that people don't use these more, because they create some really fun in-game experiences. Um, yeah. Alright, let's get right into it. So, immediately you can see some things that are not usual for soccer are happening. This low gravity is actually really great. Oh, there's no bots. Mm. Huh. Alright. Um, so yeah. Um, Moonball, it's like being in space, but Rocket League. So, it's pretty chill. It makes the game slower, and I appreciate that. It's good for people who don't play a lot. Um, and... Yeah, it takes a bit to get used to, but it's, it's actually really fun. Um, so this is going to be a three-part series. I'm going to be checking out a really insane mutator combo um, in one of the future videos. Um, yeah, so I just want this series to get a bunch of support. So yeah, make sure to drop a like and sub and all that. So anyways, let's check this out. So immediately start with a bunch of boost. And you can see if I jump here, I'm in the air for so long. And additionally, the ball kind of moves a bit slower and it's larger, so it's easier It's easier to hit the ball and you have more time to think. Um, there's some other mutator settings that also give you time to think, such as Time Warp, which we'll be checking out later. Um, yeah, so this is Moonball. This is really all it is. Um, you're just floating around. Uh, you can just get some pretty sick plays. I'm going to try to get something cool before I move on to the next one. The low gravity is really exploitable, honestly. Um, you can use it in pretty cool ways. Um, demos are not easy to get because they have time to see you coming. They can focus more on you than the ball in some cases. Um, the opponent, of course. Um, that low gravity really helps me get a flick pretty easily, and board flick, alright, nice, and I missed, wonderful. Um, also, this makes bot matches challenging, which I appreciate. Um, oh, wow, okay. Yay, I'm flying. Um, okay, and up, alright, nice. Um, get him, get him, yes. Okay, first demo of the game. Also, it makes demos less rewarding because you go flying in the air for a little bit, so you'll waste a bit of that demo time that you'd normally get. Um, okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit the rules and add... I'm going to start combining these just to make the video shorter and so I can show you them in two minutes pretty easily. So... Next up, I'm actually going to do Time Warp. Um... Yeah, let's do pinball time warp, because that's going to be awesome. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be something else. So, um, pinball, it's like playing pinball. The ball is super light and tiny. It moves super fast. It's just bouncing across the walls. And then time warp, you'll see. It's hard to describe. So, yeah, um, I just thought I should combine these just so that you could actually see what's going on, because it's hard to see what's going on in pinball. Time warp's easy to explain. Wait for it. And, yep, things slow down every few seconds, so you have more time to think. This also pairs well with Moonball if you want, like, a really cool slow game where you can think about stuff. And, yeah. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah, then I'm gonna I'm gonna be using this time warp to my advantage for sure. Um, you kind of you kind of get to play the game more easily, but also you get that fun hecticness of pinball at the same time, which is why I chose it as a combo. Um, and that's what I'm gonna be going over is uh, like actually the opposite of Moonball, which is demo demolition. But I'm gonna not talk about that yet. For now, let's just focus on this hecticness. Um, Ugh. Hitting it up against your wall is really good in pinball, just because it'll go flying, and they just did it for me. Uh, you can see the balls will submit pretty easily. Let me get it in, get it in. Oh, okay, okay. It's not too easy of a shot for pinball. Um, so yeah, accurate. This is all about accuracy, really. Um, if you're too far off. That's really not good. Um, So yeah, this is essentially what pinball is. So you just, everything's bouncing around. I, I do like adding time warp to pinball for sure. It's like, you get, it won't fry your brain as much in this case, just cause you get time to think. Um, yeet. And yeah, um, I was gonna do some off the wall shenanigans, but no, it just bounced to mid, so. Oh no, okay. So you might wonder why is he doing so bad against the bot. I've only ever played this mode once. It's actually harder than it looks. What I really like about these mutators is that, unlike most Rocket League content, where there's like crazy mod packs and stuff, you can actually just play this in a regular game. You can't like go online and customize modes or anything, but you can like play with your friends like this or against bots, which is pretty cool. Um, die, thank you. Uh, so, yeah, let me, no. No, what if you... Oh, I missed. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, farts. All right. So that's that. Um, time Warp plus Pinball. Complete insanity. Um, all right, so yeah, the next mode I told you is going to be Demolition. Super easy to demo people, obviously, is the main thing. Um, isn't... I'm pretty sure the ball is also, like, super heavy, which is insane. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's here. Okay. Um, demolition. Yeah. So, yeah. Heavy ball. Gravity's high. Demolish on contact. Recon time one second. Can I pair this with anything else? Is that possible? Uh, oh, God. What if I did demolition snow day? Snow day is just puck ball bouncy. Well, so what if I just, what if I just combine those? Um, ball type. Puck. Well, bounciness is low. Oh my god. This is gonna be the worst game ever. Look at this. Okay. Oh god. Uh, also, later in another video, I'm gonna be pranking my friend who is better than at Rocket League than I am with some of these crazy mutator settings. I'm gonna start, like, small, like, maybe demolish on contact, something like that. Something that's hard to notice, like... Or maybe I'll just make the ball curve, small stuff like that, but then over time I'll just like start changing the ball type and insane stuff like that and see if they notice what the heck is going on. Um, yeah, so this is fun. Um, the ball will literally never get in the air. You, there's no way. I, If you can get this ball in the air, like wow, that's... Whew. You're gonna need some serious shenanigans to get this in the air. Um, no, clear it, clear it. Also, whenever you hit the ball, your car recoils a little bit, which is interesting. Oh, yep. That's a lot of co-demoring happens in the demolition mode. Especially when the ball's a puck, just because, like, you might bounce back into another person. Um, yeah, so demolition, this is all about, like, ground plays. Even more so when the ball's a puck and the bounciness is down. Um, if you can get a quick demo... Um, the person comes back quickly, but it's still it's still worth something because you can get easy ground plays. Oh wow! Okay, we're locked in Mortal Kombat right now. Hey, the ball went into the air a little bit. That's oh, I appreciate that. What if you didn't though? Okay, this is slightly better, but not that good position for me. No 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 no. All oh, right, I forgot. I'm down one because you know, only a... I've literally never played this combo of rules, but I'm like, hey, that sounds fun. Ugh. Oh man, I didn't know what I was getting myself into. Whew! Alright. I'm sweating right now. I, I can't lose to a bot. Even like, on this insane rule set, I'm not gonna lose.
Please say that goes in. Please say. Oh my god, it just stopped. The ball legit just stopped. Like, come on. My car just flipped. Alright, uh, get over here. Get over here, you stupid bot. Get on. Get over here. Okay, let me just try to make a quick ground play. It's gonna say ground play. Let me just make a quick ground play. You can also see that the gravity affects your car when you flip. Like, redirect. Good redirect, and it's in. It's in. Oh, wow. They goofed that somehow. I, um, grab this. You get the idea of the mode. I'm gonna wrap this up quickly once I tie it up. Yep. Boom. Alright. Yeah, so that's that mode. Um, that's the combination of those two modes. The snow day is just the ball type and the ball bounciness. Demolition is all the other insane rules. <sighs> yeah. Alright, so. That's the deal with that. Um, now we are going to move right into the next few, which is going to be... We already did that one, that one. Oh no! Well, seriously? Yeah, ugh. This is fun. This is, this is, mm. Cubic is literally a garbage mode. I just, it just sucks. Um, I'm just going to show you a few seconds of Cubic just because I want to get into Beach Ball Spike Rush because that would be so awesome. So Cubic is the ball to cube. And the, your boost slowly recharges. That's that's it. The ball does this weird tumbling stuff. This is definitely the worst mode out of the custom modes. Without a doubt, in my mind, just solely off the fact that, you know, like when you hit the ball, just or the cube in this case. Oh my god, it just tumbles. Like the bounces you get off this thing. Like, I'm pretty sure you'd have to play like a hundred hours of this to actually figure out what the heck happens when you hit the ball. Like, look at this. Look at this garbage. Like, this is. It's so much RNG unless you're like a pro cube person, which I I don't anticipate there's a lot of those, honestly. Um Yeah, this this cube is a is literally garbage. Um I'm gonna show you literally one minute just because I normally I've been doing two minutes of gameplay, but you know, like this is hot hot garbage, as I like to say. Um so you know, I'm just gonna move past this. Oh, oh voice cracks. Yeah. This is it's just it's just hot garbage. I don't I don't know what to say about this mode. If you like cube, I, I don't anticipate there's a lot of cube lovers out there, but if you like cube, just what are you doing with your life? If you like RNG pain? Like to be fair I do play Mario Party, but still. Um yeah, anyways, let's move past my terrible jokes and into the next actually interesting mode. Yeah, alright. Good for you, you scored the mean cube. Okay, need to recollect myself after that pain. Um, yeah, so. Hmm. Alright, next we have Beach Ball, which is awesome. Um, what's the Spike Rush settings? I need to memorize these real quick. Spike Rush, Rumble Spike Rush, respawn time, one second. Rumble, Spike Rush, Recon Time, one second. Pretty simple. So, Spike Rush is just a special mode that used to be a part of, um, used to be a part of the, uh, casual modes. It was like Heat Seeker for a little bit. 3v3s, uh, it was in there for a bit. Respawn time was one second when you get demoed, and when you hit the ball after that, you get spiked. Played this mode a lot, just to get good at it. Um, beach ball, I've played once. I've played beach ball once. Um, so the settings on this thing are the ball type of the beach ball. Ball max speed is fast. Medium ball size. Ball physics has a curve, and uh, oh, high ball bounciness. Forgot about that. So. This thing is kind of like pinball, but it's, it's a bit more calm, so I kind of prefer it to pinball. I actually didn't realize how good Beach Ball Spike Rush was going to be until I actually thought of it. But, like, look at this. You can just flick it. Look at that flick right there. Like, seriously. And let's pick it up again. And I miss. We miss. So I can just, I can just pick it up again. 
But this would make for some of the hec most hectic Spike Rush gameplay, like, ever, maybe? Like, this this would be insane. I'm surprised the CPU isn't flicking it right now, because, I mean, look at that. <laughs> I mean, even though it was just a tiny flick, like, look at the speed on this thing, okay? That's what I'm going to say. Watch this. Watch this. See, you can get so much speed. And it's going to be bouncing unpredictably, and it's going to be, and you can pick it up once the bounce settles down. This is going to be like, this might be the most fun combo out of all of them. Um. Okay, so yeah, this is this is it. This is the insanity of custom modes. Um, you can do pretty much any combo of this, by the way. Um, the custom modes are only there as suggestions. Yeah, so this is this is custom modes and. A nutshell. Um, these are all the ones that exist. You can also. I couldn't go over literally every preset combo because there's so many. There's probably so many more good presets out there that people have been like, why isn't this one of them? Um, yeah, if you want me to quickly explore one of the more preset um, on the next video, the next video I'm gonna be undergoing not just two of these combos, but like, what if you combined every single Rocket League preset? Is the idea. So, if you want me to quickly go over any other good presets, then I definitely will do that at the start of the next video, and I'll... So yeah, if, if you have any good presets that I missed, or like, that you think I underrated, make sure to drop that in the comments. Also, like and subscribe. So, uh, to end off the video, I'm gonna say this is my top suggestion, Beach Ball Spike Rush. This is the best combo I've found so far, um, and I'm definitely gonna do more research for the next video a bunch more combos, see what happens. Demolition Pinball might be awesome. I mean, Moon Ball Spike Rush also. Um, and the worst one is Cubic. Just don't play Cubic. Don't do not do it. It sucks. It's, it's It has no value to the universe, honestly. But anyways, yeah. Um, so I'm going to be playing a lot of Beach Ball Spike Rush, <laughs> honestly. Um, yeah, so... Um, make sure, as I said, to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one, and make sure to watch out for the next installment in the series. So yeah, like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.